What's up everybody? Today, the thing that I changed that made the biggest impact in my life, and it is something so simple that literally anybody can do. Did you know, and I guess this stat comes from one specific website, but I looked at a couple different sites and the stats are pretty freaking similar across the board. The US is tied first place with the UK for number of hours of TV watched per week, 28 hours. 28 hours a week, the average American is sitting in front of a TV just wasting time away. Several years back, we decided to remove TV from our lives. Well, at that point, we started to remove it and didn't really realize that it was going to snowball to pretty much being gone. So first step we did, took the TV out of our bedroom. We would wake up on a Sunday, turn the TV on, channel surf, and next thing you know, it was one o'clock in the afternoon, you're still watching TV. Horrible waste of time. Took the TV out of bedroom, TV time, plummeted out of bed early seven o'clock every weekend thereafter ended up moving from that house and we accidentally just didn't get around to hooking a tv back up uh, once we moved into our new house for several months at that point we decided we don't need cable anymore and i understand cable sounds like a thing of the past and this is going back several years when cable was still very prevalent so we just decided cancel cable so we just kept the internet. And that was kind of before fire sticks came on and streaming TV and, and all that was available right at a TV anyway, pretty much plummeted at that point. We would watch a movie every now and then, but just no normal TV. Found that that gave us a bunch of extra time. Then it was time to go to the gym, it was time to do stuff around the house, time to start working on personal development, which then turned into time to learn about different businesses, to start to study more about leadership and management styles, and just work on ourselves. And I say ourselves, that's my better half and I, and if you don't know who she is, she's reselling to Freedom on YouTube, and she cracks me up. I'm biased, she's my better half, but I think she's funny. She's told me for years she's the funny one. I definitely am not. One of the byproducts of removing just mind-numbing TV from my life was just like an overall better feeling. I didn't feel as lethargic and blah. And I don't know if that was just a subconscious like psychological thing or if there's something behind it. It's just how it affected me. So think about it. What could you do with an extra 28 hours? And let's maybe say it's not 28 hours. Let's say maybe you're somebody who watches TV 10 hours a week. What could you learn in 10 hours a week that could better your life? Whether it's a new skill that'll help you get promoted at work, being able to donate more time to a local charity or helping people in need, or maybe it's taking an extra 10 hours a week to take care of your body. Maybe you're you're so busy with everything else, by the time you get home, you're wore out, you just want to sit down and front of the TV and you just kind of veg, you would be amazed if you took that TV time before you got home, went to the gym and got 45 minutes of physical exertion in, your energy levels skyrocket. You feel better in the morning when you wake up, you start to fit better in your clothes and just kind of just changes your whole life for the better. And I've kind of spiraled out from getting rid of TV to getting back into fitness. I can tell you as somebody who has gone from being in great shape to being in pretty terrible shape to now slowly starting to chip back somewhat into shape, my energy levels are significantly higher when I'm in better shape. My overall self-confidence is higher when I'm in better shape. So, you know, having extra energy uh, from being in better shape and having that physical exercise will then give you maybe more drive to work on the personal development side of things, you know, reading more books, doing more studying, whatever interests you that'll help you grow as a person. And it's not always in reference to growing in a financial standpoint. There's so many ways of growth that aren't financial that are hugely beneficial to your life. That is one of the most beneficial things I've done, cut TV out of my life. And I should say we've cut like 95%. Every once in a while, you just kind of get overstimulated, you've had enough, and you just need 30 minutes of nothingness. What I have found is having one show for me is, it used to be Big Bang Theory, that I'd squeeze 30 minutes a week in when it was air airing to watch. Now it's Young Sheldon, because I'm a nerd and such is life. So keep a little bit, and maybe it's not TV for you, maybe it's something else that's just mind numbing and lets you kind of zone out that helps keep your, your sanity a little bit. So thanks for tuning in, we'll catch you later.